Hey everyone, WWE Payback coming to the WWE Network and Pay-Per-View on Sunday. This is Thursday, so I don't read SmackDown spoilers, so I don't know if any other matches have been added. These are the matches as they stand now. My thoughts and a couple quick predictions of what I think is going to go down. Let's get right into it. The pre-show, if you will, uh, the opening match, Hornswoggle versus El Torito. This is a mask versus hair match. Uh, I don't see the little bull guy losing his mask. Of course, uh, Hornswoggle, I think, is due for a shave. His hair has gotten kind of long, so I could see him, I see him, rather, losing that match in the opener for this event. The Divas title will be defended as uh, Paige takes on Alicia Fox. And I've, I've, I like Paige. I don't have anything against Paige. But it seems like the focus has been off of her as the champion here lately, and we've seen a lot more of Alicia Fox. They're building her up into a credible contender, uh, and for that reason, I wouldn't be surprised to see a title switch. I hope that they don't. Um, I think Paige needs to get a little more under her belt def defense-wise um, and, and come into her own as the champion. It doesn't feel like to me that they've done a whole lot with her since she won the title, after Raw uh, at Wrestle or at Raw after WrestleMania, so uh, that match I could see it going either way. Um, I really am not going to pick a definitive winner, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised uh, at an outcome on either one of those. Sheamus defends the United States title against Cesaro, and I want to say I'm I'm happy to see so many titles being defended. Um, I'm hoping they throw a tag team title match into the mix, but as of right now, that's not happening. Uh, but Sheamus versus Cesaro. Cesaro, to me, is red hot. He has been since WrestleMania, since aligning himself with Paul Heyman the night after WrestleMania. I, I can't see him not winning this match uh, to keep that momentum going. Um, the only reason I would see him not winning is if they have him win money in the bank uh, at the next pay-per-view. But I hope that Cesaro wins. Um, but I'm glad to see that Sheamus is defending the United States Championship. RVD challenges Bad News Barrett for the Intercontinental title. Again, same kind of thing with Bad News Barrett. I feel like he's hot once again, and I'm hoping that that momentum continues. I vlogged about this a few days ago, about the Intercontinental title and the prestige that hopefully, hopefully is coming back to it. And I think that Barrett beating a guy of RVD's caliber and stature within the WWE is going to cement him further into the uh, the books of greatness. And I think that Bad News Barrett needs this win more so than RVD, and I hope that the WWE feels that way as well. John Cena takes on uh, Bray Wyatt in a third rematch, or a third match, uh, at the third consecutive pay-per-view, I should say. This time it is a last man standing match. I don't know where they're going with this feud. It's been very interesting, to say the least, to see this and see John Cena kind of rattled like I don't think he's been rattled before. Um, I think that uh, to keep Bray Wyatt's momentum going, I, I hope that he wins this. Uh, this is another match I wouldn't be surprised if John Cena does uh, end up going over, but I think to really keep this story kind of going, and I, I don't know when we're going to get resolution to it, uh, because it doesn't feel like the whole story has been told yet. And I, I'm wondering if that's going to finally happen Sunday. But I, I hope that Bray Wyatt is able to get the win and continue on. John Cena losing to Bray Wyatt is not going to hurt his credibility. It's not going to hurt his standing amongst the fans, especially the young fans who uh, absolutely still love John Cena. The Shield takes on Evolution and what I'm assuming is going to be the main event since Daniel Bryan is still injured. It's a no-holds-barred elimination six-man tag team matchup. Uh, since the Shield won at uh, Extreme Rules, I'm going to go ahead and, and guess that Evolution is going to win this one, and then we're going to get a third rubber match. There have been some speculation online about Shield breaking up still or members leaving. I hope that doesn't happen. I do like this kind of uh, uh, reinvigoration, I guess, of the Shield. Um, I find that they uh, this feud with Evolution. I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it, but it's it's lived up to my expectations and beyond. Their match at uh, at the last pay per view at Extreme Rules was really good in my opinion, and I I hope that uh, this feud continues on because I do think that everybody has benefited from this, and I I look forward to uh, maybe that rubber match coming up at the next pay per view. Um, also want to address the Daniel Bryan situation. Of course, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. The next surgery 
We're not sure still how long he's going to be out, but now he has to either surrender the championship or Bree gets fired. That, of course, is his wife, Bree Bella. I don't look for him to surrender the championship. I think if they were going to do that, they would have pulled it from him already. Uh, they're painting him into a corner. Something's going to happen. Something's going to give. I don't know if this is going to be the return of Vince McMahon to kind of save the day um, and tell Stephanie to stop bullying Daniel Bryan. I'm not sure. But I, I, I don't see him giving up the championship, and I hope that that, happen, that, that, I hope that doesn't happen, I should say. Uh, but I'll be curious to see exactly where we go and what happens with Brie Bella as well. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to share this video, and we'll talk to you again very soon.